This is a mystical mushroom soup which gives you 200 minutes of fight time on your private island. Very useful. Now skywalk players are absolutely crazy, so I know someone probably tried drinking a ton of soup just to see the numbers go higher, so I checked the wiki and I was right. It turns out Xylanox reached 520,000 hours of fight time, which would essentially last him until he died in real life. Now if you don't know Xylanox, he holds a Minecraft speedrun world record for 1.16, he's basically a legend. So how cool would it be if I could beat Xylanox's fight time during record and get my name cemented in the wiki. Plus he's a furry so all the more reason to take his record. There is a reason why the record has not been taken in more than two years. It's very expensive. Xylanox had to drink more than 156,000 soups costing well over 1 billion coins. Now currently I do not have over a billion coins, but luckily there were ways to reduce the cost of soup. It was available in the bazaar for around 7,000 coins, but you could get it a bit cheaper by just buying the ingredients. So that's how I started this whole journey. I bought some ingredients, crafted the soup, and began drinking. Here we go. Oh. Yeah, this was gonna be painful. Pretty soon though, we did reach around 7,000 hours. Still a long way off, but it's a good start. Guys, this crafting method is not very good at all. It just takes so much time. The recipe is pretty complicated. And if you have too much enchanted redstone or enchanted glowstone in your inventory, then the wrong items show up on your quick craft. So this is just all very inefficient. We're gonna have to buy it from the bazaar directly. Buying from the bazaar would be a bit more expensive, but it would save so much time. And time is money. So by spending money, we're saving time. And time is money, so we're actually saving money by spending money. Oh my goodness. So we put up a massive order. Bro, it's so expensive. Oh my gosh. It is so expensive. Ah, oh, what am I doing? This is the dumbest click I'm ever going to make. Here we go. Oh. Dumbest two clicks. Here we go. Now that we had a bunch of soup, I began to consume. Now I'm not going to bore you with hours of But soon enough we did reach 50k hours and then 100k hours. Almost a fifth of the way to the furry. Now very early on I realized that there was a problem. Drinking soup takes a long time. Even little things, like bringing soup from your inventory into your hotbar, they add up when you're drinking tens of thousands of soups. And so I went full engineer mode and this is what I came up with. Alright guys, take a look at this creation I made to help us consume the shrooms a bit faster. So I have dispensers on either side, right? And there are chests and hoppers that go into them and they're all filled with soup. So when we turn on this clock here, like this, on both sides, soup comes out of the dispensers and it comes out at the exact rate we can drink it at. Look at this. With this machine, we will no longer have to be swapping hotbar slots, bringing soup from the inventory into the hotbar. We won't have to be constantly going back to the bazaar. All you have to do is just fill up the chests, turn on the machine, and hold one button. With the power of technology on my side, I was drinking soup at higher rates than Xylanox could ever dream of. Yeah, we ran out of soup, and at this point I only had around 160 million coins left in my purse and my bank, and we were only at 330,000 hours. I would need a lot more money if I wanted to take this record and have my name cemented in the wiki. So what sort of money-making methods could I do? I settled on the bazaar. Specifically, bazaar flipping. Basically, you buy low and sell high. Holy moly.
If you haven't tried Bizarre Whipping, you need to. In about one week of whipping, we turned around 160 mil into 500 million coins. Now that we had a bunch of money from whipping, it was time to buy more soup. Alright guys, so I've had a bit of a scare. The soup timer is gone. If I drink soup here, nothing's happening. I don't think the actual hours are gone. But I'm going to assume that the timer is going up. We have like 330k hours. Now what basically happened is there was a patch note that said if a booster cookie is active, the flight duration timer will not show up which is why my timer disappeared. Now, unfortunately, my current booster cookie was going to last me for the next three days, so we wouldn't really be able to track progress on the flight duration timer. All right, there we go. The machine has started. And oh man, I missed this. <laughs> Not really though. Well, let's hope that the hours are going up. I cannot really see. It's a big day because my booster cookie finally ran out, meaning I can see my soup timer now. And I drank like 50,000 soup and I think it's enough for the record, so let's check. Here we go. Oh, oh, oh. <gasps> Look. We have just barely beat it. I mean, that is like perfect, man. A new record for fight duration held by me. That feels good, man. I get the world record for the most useless thing ever but we beat the furry. Yippee! But guys, why would we stop at 520,000 hours? 520,000 hours is basically 1 million, we might as well go for it. But this time, I have a better strategy for making money. Child labor. Instead of making the coins myself, I told my viewers to bid their hard-earned coins on my auction house, essentially benefiting off of their labor. Look, huge shout out to these guys, thank you so much. Now let's go waste it all on shrooms. I was drinking soups in the chamber. We were just about to hit 600,000 hours. And then my timer just disappeared. I did not eat a booster cookie. Um, there's nothing active, you can see. I cannot fly. I'm spamming space for can you hear? Oh, I don't know what to do now. I, I guess that's it. 600k is the max amount of hours you can get. I don't know what's happening. Like, I cannot fly. After a few days of walking around in the dark, not really knowing what happened to my timer, I finally stumbled upon some light. Well, I was trying to get my name in the wiki, so I was giving the information in the wiki discord server. So I said to these guys, at around 600k hours, the timer disappeared. I lost flight ability and drinking more soup does nothing. Then this guy replied with some light. His speculation makes a ton of sense, so let me show you. That would make sense if the timer is measured in seconds, with a signed integer to represent it, as that would lead to a cap of this number here, around 2 billion seconds, which is equivalent to around 596,000 hours when my timer broke. A signed integer might be better known as a 32-bit integer. If this all sounds like Japanese to you, basically we reached the maximum time that is allowed in the game's code, and then the timer just broke. So ironically, in the pursuit of getting the most flight time duration, we somehow have the least flight time duration in all of Skyblock, a permanent zero. Maybe there's a life lesson in there somewhere. But we were the first to discover and reach the max time. And if you look here now, in the wiki, it has now been added. And look here, ya boy. This record was discovered and reached by Kekofari. And look all the way down here, Xylanox in number two. That's how we do it, baby. All right, all we gotta do is just show Xylanox and rub it in his face. He's gonna be so mad. Not surprised. Okay, for real though, go check out Xylanox. His content is crazy. And also leave a like on the video. Kekofari, signing out.